Don't you love the 20 year olds in the forums? I won't run on E85 if it's got stock injectors because they won't flow enough and needs 35% more fuel and the ECU is going to not do anything it might even blow the engine up because the ECU doesn't have the technology to the, and uh, if you do that it probably run like shit and frig and stuff everything else and clog your fuel lines <sighs> come on really guys really g'day guys welcome to another episode of lockdown performance today I'm gonna do something pretty cool I'm gonna start my stock VH45, stock injectors, stock fuel rail, everything stock, stock ECU. Anything that I've changed is a fuel rig. I'm gonna, well, I'm gonna try to start it and run it, let it idle, give it a bit of a rev on E85, see if it actually even kicks over. Um, and, and then swap it back to fuel. That's my goal for today. So uh, let's go, let's do it. First start on the old E85. I've got about 60 pounds of fuel pressure. Let's see. Temperature's just starting to come up a bit. Better turn it off now. I might just actually undo the fuel. There we go. Done. So there you go guys. A stock VH45, stock injectors. All I've done is the fuel rig. Obviously I use an external pump. I think that's an 044, something like that. But I do believe that the factory fuel pump will probably push 60 pound plus of fuel pressure. Uh, didn't drive it obviously. You heard it rev, ran really well. Um, next time I'll check the mixtures um, and maybe take it for a little run, see how it goes. But uh, I do believe, because I've seen it done before on an RV, um, I think these factory injectors have a certain, um, I guess, duty cycle. They will run out eventually. Um, and in saying that, you will need bigger injectors if you want to make decent power. But if you wanted to make a little bit more power on the factory injectors and drive the car, I reckon um, it's safe to say that you could do it. So, 
anyway um, if you uh, want to leave a comment or anything like that in the uh, comment section by all means go for it uh, only a really really super short one this time because I'm still waiting on bits and pieces for the other cars but yeah the next video will be hopefully get the fuel rig for this because I've actually taken the fuel rig off this put it back on that car so and then yeah a bit more on this and that and that and that and that but for now have a good one thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next episode bye <laughs>